Good morning, my dears. I'm Clover, and today we are at the Kansas City Airport solving the gas puzzle from September 24th, 2024, If You Ain't Dutch by Philip Newman. I'm going to try to keep this a little bit quick and quiet because I am doing some, doing some solving in public today. This is a Dutch whisper Sudoku. So we place the digits one through nine, once each, in each row, each column, and each outlined three by three region. And in addition to that, there are some orange lines in the grid, and along each orange line, digits that are adjacent to each other have to have a difference of four or more. So for instance, the only digits that can ever be next to this four are going to be eight and nine, because those are the only two digits that have a difference of four or greater with four. Similarly, the only digits that can ever go next to a five are one and nine. Those are the only digits that are far enough away from five. And so we're going to jot down that. And finally, six, the only digits that are far enough away from six to place here are two and one. All of the other digits are within four of six. So that gives us our opening. Let's take a look at these columns that we've nearly finished here. So we need three, seven, and eight. And of those digits, the only one that is close, that is far enough away from nine to go there is going to be three. But three can go next to either seven or eight. So we're going to have to leave that for now. Here we need two, three, four, and seven. We can't put a seven there next to the eight. And we also can't put fours in this region and we can't put a three here. And this row, we're going to need three, six, seven, and eight. We can't put a seven here, or we can't put a six here because of the six in the region. And we can't put a three next to the two. So that will also be a seven or eight. And finally, we need two, three, and seven in this column. And seven will go next to our one and we can eliminate sevens there. Now, if we look at the middle, six can only be next to one or two and we have a one in the region already. So we're gonna place our two. Similarly, four can only be next to eight or nine. We have a nine in the region already, so we will place our eight. Now we need a digit that's at least four away from two. So that will be six, seven, eight, or nine. And because there's a six in the row, we can eliminate that from contention. For the eight, we need one, two, three, or four. And again, there's a four in the row. We can eliminate that. Now, finally here, we're going to need a low digit, one, two, three, four, or five, to be far enough away from this high digit. But we can't use one, two, four, or five, so we will have to use three. And because this is a highly symmetrical puzzle, we're gonna have the same thing going on over here. Here, we need a high digit, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, but we can't use five, six, eight, or nine, so we're gonna have to use seven. The three will resolve this two and resolve this two, three pair. And the seven will resolve this into an eight and resolve this. Okay, so that gives us some good progress. We can eliminate an eight here. We can eliminate a two here. Now let's continue looking along these lines. So to be next to a seven, we need a one, two, or three. To be next to a three, we need seven, eight, or nine. That gives us a seven, eight, nine triple in this column and a one, two, three triple in this column. So the remaining digits here will be four, six, and nine. That's not a six by Sudoku. That is not a four by Sudoku. The remaining digits in this column are one, four, and six. And this is not a six by Sudoku. This is not a four by Sudoku. So what do we go to next? This can't be a seven, so seven in the row, but that doesn't seem to really give us a whole lot to work with. How about these rows? These are starting to become kind of restricted. We need a five, six, seven, and nine here, and these can't be five or six because those appear in the region already, so we'll eliminate those here. And then we have five or six on the outside. Six tells us that that's gonna be our five and that will be our six. So now we need five, seven, and nine here. And that will resolve into a seven, nine pair. Here we're going to need one, three, and four. Can't have a four right there because of the four in the row. That will now be a four. And now we need a one and three to finish that row. And that means to finish this region, we need a two and an eight. Okay, so what next? One of these will be a four. We don't quite know which one of those it will be yet. Oh, I do see something on fours, though, and also on sixes, which is I have a hidden six in region eight down here. Six sees these cells, and sixes also see these cells, so my six is going to go right there. That eliminates six from there, and that four nine pair reduces this cell to a six. Now, same with fours. I have fours here, here, and here, so I can't place four in any of those cells. Four goes there. That reduces this to a one six pair and places a four. Now, the six I just placed gives me a one and the four I just placed gives me a nine. Now next to four, I need an eight or a nine, so that's gonna be an eight. And next to six, I need a one or a two, so that's going to be a two. So I can eliminate two and four there, and I can eliminate six and eight there. Now the only position remaining for a four in row two is right there. This is going to be a two eight pair. This is not an eight. And I need one, three, seven, and nine to finish this region. That can't be three or nine. Now I'm going to place an eight here because of the two to resolve the two eight. 
And let's finish this column. Right? Three, five, seven, nine. Those can't be nine. A seven and a nine. And up here, I need one, three, five, and seven. This will have to be a three. And that's a one and a five. Okay. To finish this area, I need a eight and a nine. It'll be a nine and an eight. One. This will be seven and nine, like this. That can't be seven. These will be two, six, and eight by Sudoku. That resolves the two, three. And I have three, seven, and eight here. That makes this an eight and a six. Two and eight. And we should be just about in go mode with standard Sudoku. Okay, so that's not a one. My eight gives me a nine and a seven here. And I think we're going to get to resolve the entire remainder of this. There we go. That is how you solve Philip Newman's If You Ain't Dutch. I apologize for the uh, the less than optimal audio kind of in my surroundings here. I am, as I said, in the airport getting ready to leave on a trip for the rest of the week. So I will see you again in three days recording from who knows where. Catch you later.